why do some scientists believe that ASI or artificial superintelligence is going to be the best thing ever for the human species and others think that it will literally spell our demise? Let's examine both. If you don't know me, my name's Kat. I make non-patronizing, non-pretentious education about AI. I think the easiest one to understand first is why could this potentially be an amazing thing? Well, just think about all of the problems that we face that we haven't come up with solutions yet for, right? Global warming, cancer. I'm sure you can think of a thousand more. Techno-optimists, or people who think about technology in a very optimistic way for the human species, like to point out the fact that an artificial superintelligence would look at these problems and be like, ah, oh, piece of cake, you wanna solve, you know, cancer, obviously you just do insert whatever the artificial superintelligence would say here. They're saying it would speed up the pace of scientific discovery by an order of magnitude we probably can't even comprehend. But a lot of people are not so optimistic. Why? Let me introduce you to my friend, Nick Bostrom. He's a professor at Oxford and wrote this book called Superintelligence back in 2014. Now there's a lot in this book about why an artificial superintelligence would be really, really bad for humans, but it all comes down to one word, which is alignment. Alignment is the act of getting a computer to act in a way that aligns with human goals. As you probably know, computers, while they may seem smart, are actually incredibly stupid. They only do exactly what you tell them to do. That's why people who write code for a living have to think and work in a very literal way. The computer doesn't know what you meant. It only knows to do exactly what you told it to do. The concern that Bostrom and a lot of other pessimists have is that the supercomputer might misinterpret or actually perfectly interpret our instructions to be way more literal than we meant. The example that gets brought up the most is the paperclip factory. 